Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for nitrogen trichloride. So here we go. Uh, this is going to be NCl3 nitrogen trichloride, which is going to give us five valence electrons from the nitrogen plus three chlorines, each with seven valence electrons for a total of 26 valence electrons okay we can subtract out the largest multiple of 8 which is 24 which gives us two electrons remaining divide that by 2 and that gives us one non-bonding pair and since 24 is equal to 8 times 3 that means that this structure is going to be an AX3 E1 type structure meaning there's a central atom surrounded by three peripheral atoms and the central atom has one non-bonding pair of electrons on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this structure. We have the nitrogen in the center surrounded by the three chlorines. And then we can go ahead and single bond each of the chlorines to the central nitrogen and then fill in the octets of each of the surrounding chlorines. Okay, so there's our three peripheral atoms, and now we have to add on this non-bonding pair of electrons to the central nitrogen, so let's just put it right there. And that should be our uh, final structure. Now, let's go ahead and uh, verify by calculating the uh, formal charges. So, the formal charge on the nitrogen is going to be equal to the uh, five valence electrons brought in, minus one, two, three bonds minus one two non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero and then the formal charge on each of the chlorines and notice that they all have the same setup so that all their formal charges uh, will be equal and so their formal charge is the seven valence electrons brought in for each one minus a single bond on each chlorine minus the two four six non-bonding electrons on each chlorine for a formal charge of zero Multiply that by three because there are three of those chlorines. Add all these up and it still gives you an overall formal charge of zero, which is what we want because this is not a charged particle. Okay? Uh, in terms of actual shape, when you have AX3E1 type structure, that means that the shape is going to be called trigonal pyramidal. Okay? And when you have that kind of shape, the bond angles are approximately going to be equal to 107 degrees. Um, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central nitrogen, there's one, two, three, four electron groups or four potential bonding sites. So that means that we need four hybrid orbitals. So sp3 hybrid, meaning one s and three p, so a total of four orbitals to match the four electron groups. And in terms of polarity, because of this non-bonding pair of electrons, that's going to make this a polar compound. Okay, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.